Under the hammer next to bang on bang. So we've got this wonderful shabby chic storage suitcase just oozing age and history and charm and sophistication. Lovely. I mean, the, the, the clasp's all in good condition. The handle is that lovely, wonderful sort of post-war 60s Bakelite. It's even in that kind of crimsony red, that Bakelite crimsony red. Lovely. The colour's not picking up as good as it is. No, you know, it's, it's kind of a burgundy, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, deep burgundy. Gorgeous, these lovely big things. It's an extender, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it's yeah. It's got extenders at the and back of the front. I don't know how much it extends. are in really good condition. Well, when you open it up, you can see how far those extend. Because they come down really, really easy. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got so, a bit of that storage Yeah, so if this, is, if this is new to you, don't see for these. These are great. So you've got that kind of extender. Then you've got a similar thing on the back. How does the back... I think it just lifts up. I think once, it? once it gets to... Yeah, there we are. Look, it's lifted up already. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it yeah. slides up like that. So... Yeah. It can go to then be a suitcase that's that big. Yeah. It's great, that extra storage, which if you're using this for, sh for shabby cheap storage, putting it on the top of a wardrobe, brilliant, you know. Put your winter clothes in, in it in the summer, put your summer clothes in it in the winter. It's got those little metal stoppers as well, so that when it's turned on its bottom, it doesn't scuff too much. Yeah, and it's got this lovely, again, this burgundy trim matching that handle. And that is all in very good condition. It's got these great little corner pieces. Yeah, all in really nice condition. You know, the stitching. I don't think there's any damage to this stitching all no, the way. I don't think so. But there's well, a little a bit on that corner gap. there. There's a tiny gap. And, and another one there, but I, I don't know whether that's actually since no, when it was made. Know. I mean, the base actually is in the worst condition. Yeah. It looks like it's been. It's been you know, used. Slid backwards and forwards on something. Yeah. It's got a nasty sort of scuff there. But it's only, that's only surface, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice and so it's light. One, so one the post out easy. On here as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do the locks work? I think so, yeah. I think Little it heads up on good, these yeah. locks. Look, you turn them, turn them to sort of 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and they open. No, they don't. They close. Turn them to quarter to that. No, which way round is it? 10 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Up is open. Turn it around to sideways, and they're locked. We don't have the keys, but oh, there we go. Good storage space as good well. Good storage space, good yeah. quality interior. Bit of damaging down at the bottom of that, that corner there, but... Yeah. Ah. Little bits old of, suitcase, that's good. Little bits of paper that are just slightly worn, aren't they? But on the whole, it, and it's nice and dry, there's no mildew. It's, it's Charm and character. Charm and character, that's what it's got. It does have a little bit of tape on here, and I've left it on because uh, it needs a bit of polish spraying on it and leaving because otherwise it'll start ripping more of this off. So. You see, I like little bits of tape well, yeah. and stickers and things like yeah. that. I like that about them, That's but well, that's me. So there, we've left it for you. You can uh, decide Make whether you decision. want it or not. That's right. We do sell things in other places, and we do have people always looking for that shabby chic stuff. So if you want to get yourself a bygone bargain, get a bid on before it's gone.